Go the Distance does the 42 mile worst day of the year challenge ride. Starting at the Lucky Lab Brew Pub, you'll immediately cross the Willamette River over the Hawthorne Bridge. On the west side, you'll begin a gentle 1.5 mile 200 foot climb up Friston Street through downtown and Goose Hollow to the start of the first real climb of the day at Washington Park. The Washington Park climb gains about 560 feet over 2.7 miles. The climb has five long steep ramps of up to 10% interspersed with flatter recovery sections. Don't burn all your matches on this climb because the Germantown climb looms ahead. At the top, you'll have a short descent through the zoo parking lot. Beware of kids, strollers, minivans, and especially the crosswalks and stop signs. After leaving the park, you'll have a short 1 mile 170 foot climb to the summit at Sylvan Heights just before mile 7 of the ride. From Sylvan Heights, there's a long nearly 5 mile fast descent down the west slope to Cedar Hills. Watch for strollers and joggers. Be especially careful of the tricky right turn from Southwest Pointer back onto the trail. At the end of the descent, it's a long, mainly flat tour through the suburbs, office parks, and malls of Beaverton and Hillsboro. Once you're on Northwest Cornelius Pass Road, it's not long before you're in the rolling hills of West Union. Enjoy the respite. On the horizon is the Germantown climb. At about mile 20, you'll turn onto Germantown Road for about two miles of rollers. At mile 22, you'll turn onto Old Germantown Road, and a half mile later, you'll begin the second climb of the day, up and over the West Hills. The Germantown Road climb is a leg-sapping 1.7 mile 600 foot unrelenting climb of 7 to 9 percent. It's a pretty constant grind, but once you reach the meadow, the road flattens just a bit to give you some respite before one last kick to rejoin New Germantown Road. There the road flattens a bit for the last quarter mile until you reach the summit at Skyline Road where the descent begins. The descent is challenging and requires your attention. The road is on the north slope of the West Hills, so it can be slick, mossy, and icy, even when other roads are clear. There's a lot of traffic and even speed bumps, but it's a wonderful two mile, 850 foot thrill ride drop with as much as 11% descent. After the descent, your legs may be stiff as bricks, but you'll have to start a short seven percent leg aching climb to the beautiful St. John's Bridge. The bridge itself is postcard worthy and if the weather cooperates you'll also be treated to views of Mount Hood, St. Helens and Mount Adams during your ride across the span. Once over the St. John's the tough part of the ride is done. From there it's mainly a flat stroll along the Willamette River through University Park and then east through Arbor Lodge and into Woodlawn. Once through Woodland You'll head south and east through Alberta, then across I-84 to the North Tabor and Laurelhurst neighborhoods. Once you reach Salmon Street in the Sunnyside neighborhood, you're almost home. You'll bend west and cruise slightly downhill for about a mile and a half into East Portland and the Lucky Lab Brew Pub. And the long Thanks for watching. Sweet round is the fastest.